Alright guys, so I didn't want to do this video while I'm sick, but I need to. Um, Vulcan. It's coming to Unreal Engine 4. It's probably coming to CryEngine and every other engine. Um, when is really up to whoever. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to cover on this, but we're going to go over the basics of what it is. For those of you who are already working the engines, you know of DirectX 11, DirectX 12, um, the failure called OpenGL. Uh, God, OpenGL's bad, sorry. I, I, I keep doing that. Um, and now there's Vulkan. There was Mantle. Mantle uh, got absorbed into Vulkan. Um... AMD decided to donate the Mantle core. Everything that made Mantle awesome is inside Vulkan. So you can expect AMD to also have the best performance with Vulkan, the same way they do with DirectX 12. Uh, DirectX 12 is not fully hardware implemented yet, so, you know, the performance does not truly show yet. The only true hardware. Uh, implementation is in the, um, the 3D Mark benchmark, where it shows you the actual true performance. Where AMD annihilates Nvidia. It's hilarious. Uh, a 290X beats at the 980 Ti and the newest Titan GPUs. It's funny. Mm, that's because of async administrators. Now, Vulkan is supposed to be able to be a low-level API for Windows, uh, Linux, Android, and we're not sure what Apple is going to do, but hopefully Apple will also support it. Now, Unreal Engine supports it. Um, you know, we got Lunar G, Imagination, ARM, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, Intel. They're all here, and um, they're all offering uh, different tests and things like imagination is offering the gnome demo the gnome demo is android only sadly i mean uh I wonder what lunar g's got oh yeah they got this silly little sample kit that doesn't actually show the full power this is another android one It really doesn't show the true power. So we're going to go and show you the, the GNOME uh, Vulcan benchmark here real quick. I fail to spell GNOME, but there it is. We're going to go to video. And on the, le on the right hand side is OpenGL ES. And we have the Vulcan prototype on the left-hand side. As you can see, it completely dominates past implementations of OpenGL. Look at all those gnomes and those mushrooms. Not only that, it looks to have better lighting with Vulcan as well. More advanced lighting. Now, with OpenGL ES, it only uses two cores at any given time. Android is limited to multitasking and multi-core features. But with Vulkan, on Android, you're able to use all four cores using GPU intensive tasks. So you use your entire CPU instead of just two cores. Look at this. This is awesome. All right. So that's one of the demos. Uh, there's another one, NVIDIA has a whole bunch of fishies, helicopters, and all those things, but they're creating their own libraries to undermine the universal capabilities of Vulkan to try to, you know, cripple their components, their, uh, their competitors, like Intel and AMD and Qualcomm. So you can expect bad things from NVIDIA when it comes to making their own version of Vulkan. So we have this. Uh, go here. You can download these samples. Fish tornado. It's got the assets and everything you need. 
and uh, you can compile all this and test out everything that you want. So what will Vulkan do for the Unreal Engine? Well, as you can see, when I get closer to the trees and all the grass and things, we have really low FPS. This is the limitation of DirectX 11, okay? Um, having too many objects in the scene at once uh, brings down the FPS, and it's very hard on the CPU. So we're going to go to Engine. Uh, not Engine, we're going to go here. We're going to go down, and we're going to show you the RHI. Now you can see what we have going on in here with the triangle drawn. There is a ton. And we even have a maximum that we're able to view. With Vulcan, we should be able to support better draw calls and overall have better performance. Hopefully great performance. So this if red shirt on Vulcan should be able to fully be immensely powerful. I'm going to hit F11 just to show you everything. See, we're fine when we look out in the ocean. And the farther we go away from all the objects, the uh, faster everything becomes. Look back, and we have crippling performance. I don't have culling turned on. Uh, I've designed this level to kind of show you the ocean and uh, also kind of show off like how bad DirectX 11's performance is with massive amounts of grass and trees and lighting. Watch what happens when we turn the lighting off. Mind you, it still looks pretty good. I like this look a lot. So Vulcan looks to improve a lot of stuff. The amount of draw calls you could have, and um, all that other stuff. If you want to try Vulcan now, AMD has a beta driver, uh, NVIDIA has a beta driver, NVIDIA hasn't updated their beta driver yet, but AMD keeps updating theirs. They're on beta 4 right now, as you can see. And uh, they're doing their best to improve their OpenGL support along with Vulkan because they both go hand in hand. Uh, you need to have a lot of stuff going on. And yeah, they fixed a ton of issues right now. Uh, if you want to start programming for Vulkan, you need to head over to um, the Vulkan website and it will take you to the SDK or you can just search in Vulkan SDK in Google. So what is Vulkan? A low level API that, that hopefully uh, means to improve gaming over the next couple of years uh, to the point where when you port something over to from console to PC we won't have bad FPS we won't have bad optimizations because there would be no difference between um, the console version since it is x86 and the Vulkan version or the DirectX 12 version so also if you want to try DirectX 12 you can do that now it's in Dolphin go I wasn't expecting that I apologize go try out some games now. Um, there's a lot of compatibility with Vulkan. As you can see, a lot of uh, the GPUs you already know and love are Vulkan compatible, along with all these APUs as well, and these mobile chipsets. Okay, If you're running a 6000 card for AMD, it ain't gonna fly you need to upgrade to 7000 or newer. And it's pretty cheap to do so these days. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.